Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our favorite show, and that is Succession. Today we got episode 5 of season 2. Yeah, I had to check that for some reason. Yes, we're still in season 2, episode 5. Now, before we get started, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And check us out my other videos. Thank you so much. So last time on Succession was episode 4, which I think so far is my favorite episode of the season. The episode was funny as always but also really dark as always actually it got even darker than usual there was an employee at atn who killed himself at his desk they thought it was a shooter um logan made some progress with purchasing pierce so it looks like that pierce purchase may go through we'll see how that goes and uh you know kendall was showing some signs of potentially wanting to uh, commit suicide and they put those windows up to protect them from jumping off that building there was something really interesting in that episode that i will not let go of and that is when the shooting happened logan got put into a secure location and before he entered it, the first thing he asked is is kendall okay he never asked if shiv is okay he never really bothered where shiv was until shiv showed up at the at the bunker right so that is something that I'm going to be looking out for because I'm getting hints that he's playing Shiv. I mean, Shiv is all happy and Logan is like, yeah, we'll, we'll get you in. Don't worry about it. And I just think it's one of those shows that, like, he's using her right now. I think his ultimate goal is to fix up Kendall. And that's why he's worried about Kendall. I feel like he has no real intention to get Shiv involved. And I think he's slowly showing signs of that. That she's not really into in his plans like that. But we will see where that goes. Let's go ahead and start with Succession Season 2, Episode 5. Hi. Hey, how are you? You made it. How was London? Yeah, yeah good. Oh, yeah. she was in you London? Okay? Yeah, fine. Wow. Uh, where is Ken here? When that happened, in, in between episodes? Hey, what did you do? Who did you see? Uh, yeah, I was a blur. Are you okay? I'm okay. Oh, they have that open relationship. She f***ed so many guys in London. No longer speak one percent. Mm, Romeo is slinging candy apples, not digging the Panama Canal. I've seen the world for how it really is, Siobhan, and it has changed me. I'm a kettle. Oh yeah, he's a normal guy now, right? Hey, Con. How's the hooker with the heart of gold? Oh my god. I know Connor is hoping that at some point they will go, go past that, but I don't think so. EGN is getting outflanked left and right. The whole edifice is crumbling. Oof. Well, that just screams bye, bye, bye. I, I'm kidding. The Pierce family trust has fractured. Oh man, that focus on her after she bombed with that joke. Oh, two drinks maximum, not big drinkers. That's okay. Nobody here has any glaring substance abuse issues. <laughs> they hate our papers. You're the straw man for the sins of ATN. Cane your haunches a bit, okay? We need to wear the hair shirt, call you a shitbag, and say that we never watch, right? Okay, got it. <laughs> oh my god. Bagging Pierce is the key to our proxy defense, and the defense is life itself. All right, well, let's go. And uh, keep clean this weekend, eh, killer? <laughs> Why don't you just get him clean in general? Chivalry is not, you know. Oh god, I forgot about this. Shit before the shovel. This relationship. Yeah, I can see the logic, you know. I can good, see. good. Anyway. My baby soon. Oh, oh, that was so awkward. That was so awkward. He did not acknowledge that. She is being a little, she's being like a little too pushy about it. Like, hey, like, so when am I going to get it? You're going to, you're going to give me that company, right? Remember that? We'll see. We'll see. Oh, well, I'm proud of you, son. Getting back in there. Thank you, Dad. Yeah, but this weekend, don't mention it. Sounds like you're back in business kindergarten. Right. Thank you. <laughs> just said, just said he's proud of him, and then diminished that immediately. Ah, yes, the Roy's and helicopters. Yes, I was beginning to worry where the helicopters were at. So basically, what's happening right now? The Roy's are about to eat this family alive. Like they're landing as a bunch of vultures. Check out fucking Papa Smurf. Oh, this is too fucking weird already. <laughs> Yeah, it is weird. Oh yeah, uh, Roman's girlfriend has a connection to one of the Pierces, right? Vagina is triumphant. No, your vagina trumpets. 
I triumph in the truth. Oh, right, of course, truth. Love it. It's the best, right? Roman, we need you to tone down the sarcasm right now. We need to tone down the sarcasm. We love it usually, but tone it down right now. Right now in Africana oh. Studies from Brown. Um, wow, this would be a double. He is in Better Call Saul. I'm pretty sure. One of my favorite shows, Better Call Saul. Check it out. Especially if you're a Breaking Bad fan. Abolish the Federal Reserve, fluoride is poison, pissing in jars, end of things. Uh, no, I'm actually on the Liberty and Justice for- So awkward. Maybe. Who knows? What he meant to say is that he's really passionate about maintaining the integrity of the customer-facing brands. Wow. <laughs> um, yeah, that is kind of what he said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Have a drink with us. Oh, I have to finish the dinner. No, I oh, but just, just one. You can take a break, can't you? Dinner. Well, all right, all right. You never treat yourself. Hmm, that's interesting. Ah, uh, we missed you, son. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Look how fake and choreographed that was. Your outlets have been essential to the functioning of our grand republic. They so remain. You're here. You're here. You're here. You're here. He would like to kill and shit on you. <laughs> I'm good. Good. How are you really? Whoa. What's that all about? You know. It's good to see you. She's playing her game. Remember, everybody has a game. Have we lost sight of Maxim? Who's on Maxim? Me. And I just have to say, isn't it awkward that all of you walked into this room together? Shiv, I want your man. Okay, Dad, we don't have to be so schematic. Romulus, when you laugh, please do it at the same volume as everyone else. <laughs> That's so weird. And Naomi. Yeah. Hit Naomi. Got it. Okay, onwards. Okay. Can't stand up to my accent. Dad, you gonna help me on that? All right, all right, team. Good team talk in the locker room. Time to head out. Let's go. Let's get it. I'm very excited to be getting top marks along with your other pupils. Marsha is not happy. Yeah, Marsha hasn't been doing much since like halfway first season. She had like little moments here and there, but yeah. Why are they all applauding? What? We all know she didn't make this. You can take your leather jacket off at a dinner table. Like, why are you still wearing it? Hey, that was awesome. I'm Kendall. I know. Naomi. All right, Kendall. Spit some games. Spit some games, yo. Get on our side. I have uh, volunteer at a drug addiction treatment center in Mill Valley, and I continue my recovery. Oh, shit. Great. We have that in common. Let's go. <laughs> Are you a reader? Me? Oh, big time. Yeah. Can you recommend anything uh, that Oprah isn't pushing? Why would you agree to this? Enjoyed the electric circus. Who was it? It was, oh, uh, uh, Timothy left it. Why is she looking it up? Bro, just let it go. Just. Is a, um, you know, metaphor. For what? For the anxiety of modern life, Siobhan. Uh, Logan, Logan noticed how Shiv is pushing it. Can you name me one member of the House Commerce Committee? Oh, uh, yeah, I think I know one. Uh, Representative Ferdinand D. who gives a shit from the great state. <laughs> this is going bad. It's going bad. If you want to talk ATN, you know, Tom's a barbarian. Hi, hello. I'm the... <laughs> so I suppose that just makes me a, a prim little matron if I object to being fumbled by the invisible hand of the market. And the, that... Shiv, Shiv, you're fumbling it. You're fumbling it, Shiv. Recover. An acquisition. Then as head of news, you would be the guy in charge of our crown jewels, right? Oh, well, we'd have to see about that. Ooh, hear that, Tom? Oh, my God. Why would you say that? Tom, everything rests on what you're about to say. <laughs> okay, <we're> just... <laughs> Ooh, king of edible leaves, his majesty the spinach. Poor Tom. <laughs> So bad. Because I'm so worried about a. It's a. Our dog. It's a dog thing. Rondale, he's so a, silly. Oh no. Sorry. He's got a virus. It's very oh, ill. No. Regroup. Regroup. Maybe you could stop beating up on me too. What? What? <laughs> That's just nothing. That's silly. I really want this. I know. I really, I want to be sitting at that table. Hey. You are sitting at the table. You are. Hmm. 
Okay. Oh, you mean us having a yeah. baby? No, we're not planning to have a baby because oh. that would require us having sex. What? Oh God! Oh go go oh, yikes! Kind of like you nick the besties. Well, right? you wouldn't say that. It works for us. This is so awkward. You grew up in Beirut. What was that like? Well, she she doesn't really like to talk about it. Or you don't like to ask about it. Everything's falling apart. Everything's falling apart. She told me her whole life story. If I have a year, I couldn't tell you my whole life. Another glass for both of you? Well, you know, we <laughs> tend to kind of keep it yes, to... Yes, thank you. You're being targeted for acquisition yourself, correct? Oh. Sandy's not well. Syphilis, if you can believe it. <clears throat> Syphilis? And any thought given to, to whom you might hand over the keys? Mary is on the paperwork as a stopgap, but even she be the first to admit that she could. <laughs> Why'd you bring Jerry into this? I really don't like to deal in hypotheticals. Mm. He's an enigma. Just whisper it in my ear. Ooh, I like that focus on Shiv. Well, you know. Oh, for fuck's sake, Dad, just tell him it's gonna be me. Oh, why would you, why would you jump the gun? Why would you do that, Shiv? No, Shiv! It... Well, what's happening? My life just ended. <laughs> but I thought we could tell you all, though, as friends. It's kind of a power move on Shiv's side. We're good. Is that true? Will you stop? <laughs> Oh, that went bad. This is kind of like the first time where Ken, uh, not Kendall, where Logan loses control of a lot of things. Like he's not in command in a scene. I feel like this is the first big moment where I'm seeing this from him. Watching you people melt down is the most deeply satisfying activity on planet Earth. Yo, yeah, I agree. Same, same these. Would you like to do some illegal drugs with me? Yes, I would. Good. Mm. I guess I thought, you know, like, fucking, fuck him. Stringing me along. Just, you know, shit her, get off the pot. Right. Yeah. Right. That's the power move, right? If she jumps the gun before he can back out of it, you'll put him in a corner a little bit. I don't know, it's just like... Like I've, uh, I fucked it. <coughs> you fucked it? Yeah, you most likely did. Let's fuck. Yeah, totally. We do the sex so well, so that's a great idea. All right, come on. Okay. I know. Really squeezing was, hard with your fingers. It was really sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how I just took you. I like her. She's a great little addition to the cast. I hope she sticks around. Copper ahoy! Can you stop getting into vehicles when you're under the influence? Last time you did that, bad things happened. Oh, no, abort! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! Turn it off! We're good. I'm good. We're okay. We're okay. Oh my god. Whew. Yikes. You guys gonna bang? Is it gonna be like a Romeo and Juliet type of thing where like their families were against each other? Tabs are meant to be dead. Visual stimulation to I get into I it. Get so that? That will I, help us. What about I... my... <laughs> yeah, Your eyes closed you and I should just... be turned on because dead women aren't wet. Dead women? What's going on here? It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying if we like politely agree on a wrong thing, then it's no longer wrong. I mean... What is happening in this relationship? All right, where's Jerry's room? We gotta go find Jerry's room. Wrapped <laughs> my fucking Audi around to Highway Divider. Wow. So yeah. All right, Kendall, now you share your story. What did you do? What was your bad time on drugs? Getting out from under all this. Like you can take the money and you can just get the fuck out. You can do whatever you want. Whatever you want. Follow whatever dreams you want. Fund whatever dreams you want with your money. So this is where Jerry's room's at. Okay. Special conference calls for say right now. How long have you guys been doing it? Or is it only once? Okay, I'm very sorry, Jerry. No, you I... don't get to speak. Ah, there you go. You have always been a disappointment. Yeah. This is just... You have gone beyond them. No, she's already played the game. This is what he wants. There you go. Get in that bathroom. Now. She's finding it a little exciting too. I swear, this guy has masturbated on screen more than any other character I've seen. That hangover has got to be crazy. Oh, he shit himself. I jerked off in Jerry's bathroom. 
last night. Mm. Mm. Even as a joke, that is a stomach-turning thought. <laughs> <laughs> Did it blow up with Maxim? A little. Oh. But then we cracked open a bottle of port. Uh, I got tipsy and I offered him the State Department. <laughs> two drink. Remember what they said, two drink minimum? Yeah, nobody followed that. Man would like to meet you, Marsha, Jerry, Schiff, Kendall. After breakfast. Mm, interesting. Interesting group. Why is Marsha involved? Just let Logan talk. And maybe Jerry. Actually, no, Kendall. Let, Ken let Kendall speak a little. Something has to be done. Eight straight quarters of losses is a hard truth, and we can't do good news without deep pockets. Uh -huh. This is a good actress that they cast here. She's always smiling. It's a, it's a snake wrapped in a smile. And she believes that a sale is the only way to ensure that Pierce Media can flourish. Kendall did it. Kendall did it. I, I think we're worth more. We have made a very generous offer in terms of market valuations. Nah, she knows how desperate he wants it, so might as well try. I could go to 25, but it would have to be fast. I won't have that man overseeing our news, I'm sorry. Oh my god. It's just not tenable. Poor that Tom. won't be a problem. Oh. We would like you to publicly announce a successor. And we would like the person you publicly announce to be Siobhan Roy. Okay, 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 okay. But he doesn't want... That's not quite how I do things. That's the offer. This is crazy. All he has to do is name Siobhan and he's got the deal. I have an offer. And if I announce my daughter on my time... Okay. You can't put a value on what we do. Funny. I have put a value on what you do. 25 billion. That's crazy. No way he's about to kill this deal because of that. That's how much he didn't want Shiv involved. Then we're done. Oh. <laughs> I've been telling you that he didn't want Shiv, actually. Would you like to hear my favorite passage from Shakespeare? Oh, shit. Kill him. Take the fucking money. Mm. They're doing bad. Like, Pierce is doing bad. Like, they need this. That's He knows that they need this. They know that he really wants to make this deal, but he knows that they really need this. <laughs> you were this close, Shiv. You were this close. What a weird family. <laughs> what happened? Well, I don't know. Just, I don't know. They're waiting for a call. They're waiting. Ah! Jesus Christ, Dad! What? It's dangerous! That's goddamn fucking right! Oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! What's up, Greg? You guys! You get- you did it! Huh? Nice of you to come by, man. No worries. This is huge for us. Um... <laughs> oh, for us, I see it. I see it. I see it. He's such a suck up. Look at him. Here's to us. Here's to us. Oh, what a shot. Lovely stuff, lovely stuff. And that's it, just nothing yet. No. Nope. That was a phenomenal ending to that episode. Yeah, no, that confirms everything that I've been suspecting about him wanting to name Shiv as the CEO. He didn't want to. I think he just wanted to pull her out of politics, pull her out of, you know, working for Gil, get her here. He lied to her. Like, all he had to do, he still got the deal, right? But they showed it. They told him, hey, listen, we'll take the deal, we'll take the money, but all you have to do is name Shiv as the next CEO. That's all he had to do. Remember, that, that was his plan already. He already said to her, I'm going to name you CEO. All he had to do is just say it publicly, and he was like, oh, you know what? I'm not not gonna go ahead and do that now because I was never going to name her CEO because I'm pretty sure the guy who's sitting next to him Kendall that is is going to be the next CEO or is in his not going to be but is in his like his plans I don't know who's gonna be the next CEO whatever right Shiv fell what can I say and that was always going to happen as soon as in the first episode when he gave her that hope that it's that it's real, that he was going to do it, you already had doubt that he wasn't going to do it. And he flipped it on her. 
and he's not gonna give her an answer and she will forever be or not forever i don't know forever but she will now be walking around wondering what went wrong and he won't give her an answer because he feels like he doesn't need to give her an answer but also a good business tactic on his behalf because he came to them with a deal and he knows that they know that he's desperate to make this deal happen because he just wants to buy them but he knows that they need to make this deal happen because they're in the toilet so when he came up to them he was like hey listen 25 billion that's my offer and then they started making counter offers he was like no 25 bit like i already made my offer you guys are in no position to change the deal no thank you and he walked out and they desperately called him and they were like hey we, you got a deal yeah phenomenal ending there a lot to read into also with like greg coming in there he's like hey yeah, we did it right guys because he just wants to be there in the room so they remember that he he was in that room he's playing the long game always and you know tom also got kind of roasted about him being in charge which is interesting because okay so let's say they didn't agree to the shift thing the they agree to the Tom thing at least. So the whole reason that the deal didn't happen in that room is because of the shift thing. But I think he already agreed to the Tom thing. Like he was fine with letting Tom go. So we'll see where Tom ends up. And we'll see what happens with Kendall. Because I really think that ultimately his goal is to clean up Kendall. And to basically groom him into being the CEO that he wants him to be. Shiv was never real. I, I don't know. That's, at least that's how I feel. That's how I felt since day one when he told her that, you know, she was going to be CEO. I wonder when it's going to be Roman's turn. <laughs> Maybe season three, it's going to be Roman. It's going to be like season three starts and he's going to be like, Roman, you're a new CEO. Good job. Let's go. I don't know. I don't see that happening, but we'll see. Roman and Jerry also have like a weird relationship. I wonder if they'll ever get actually physical with each other. That would be interesting. Roman, uh, I don't know. This whole conversation about Roman and women, I'm starting to think that he might not like women. He's into, like, Jerry, but he's, I don't think he's into Jerry. I think he's just into the way she talks to him. Because he does just jerk off with her. But, like, they don't, they've never actually, like, had sex or anything. I don't know, it's weird. Yeah, phenomenal ending. Logan is as evil and as scary as always. And that's, you know, I just realized... Earlier in the episode, I was saying that this is so far the episode where he is not in control the most, where he's kind of losing grip on the situation. But there at the end, look how he twisted everything, and now he's fully in control again. He had that dinner where he was just kind of losing everybody, and he actually looked worried. But then by the end of it all, by the end of the episode, he's in control. He won. He got it. That's Logan Roy. There you go. So yeah, if you enjoyed today's reaction to Succession Season 2, Episode 5, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Check some of my videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.